Well, hello everybody. This is Byron King with Investor Intel coming to you from uh, Toronto, Ontario and PDAC, the Prospectors and Developers Association of Canada, the annual conference. It's the biggest and the best. Uh, lots of people here, 20,000 or more. Uh, I have the pleasure today to speak with Peter Cashin of Imperial Mining. Imperial Mining, uh, which is uh, a scandium play uh, in Quebec. Scandium being a critical element on the periodic table. Peter, it's great to be with you. Hi, Byron. Thanks. Nice being here. Thank you. For people who are either new to the story or who need reminded, give us a quick rundown of what, what is Imperial Mining? What do, what do we do? Well, Imperial Mining is developing a significant scandium resource in Quebec. Uh, scandium is an important alloy agent to aluminum. It's a strengthener, renders the alloy uh, corrosion resistant, heat resistant. So it's got really important light weighting applications for transportation platforms where you want to reduce carbon footprint. Uh, it's used in uh, solid oxide fuel cells. It lowers the internal operating temperature. So it has application alternative energy. And uh, we're actually, it's going to figure very strongly into hydrogen infrastructure, which is something we're working on right now. Wow. Okay, well, my goodness, there's so much, there's so much to unpack there. We have so little time. Uh, Scandium has been around for a while. People have known about it for a hundred and something years, but uh, up until very recently, most of the world's Scandium came from Russia, uh, and it was a very small amount. Uh, uh, and so in that respect, the Western uh, aerospace industry, the Western defense industry, the aluminum industry, didn't use very much of it. Uh, what's going on with developments in that sector anymore? Are, are, is there, are, you're developing something, but is, are, is there more Scandium coming down the pipeline? Uh, it seems to be an important buzzword. You're seeing a lot of juniors that are in the rare earth, rare metal space. They're always making mention, reference to scandium. Um, uh, I, I think one of the more important developments is uh, Rio Tinto's involvement uh, with recovering secondary or byproduct scandium from their uh, waste streams in their titan titanium operation in Quebec. In, in Quebec, yeah, yeah, they've started to produce more. As I understand it, uh, for every pound of scandium that uh, Rio can produce, they have a buyer for it, don't they? Actually, they're buying ahead. They they made their first announcement of developing a, a, a demonstration plant to recover the scandium uh, and uh, of three tons, which is like 15% of the world current world market, um, and that was sold forward. and And uh, now they've they're investing very heavily in and bringing up their production capacity to about 12 tons. And it's our understanding that that material is almost being completely sold forward as well. Again, for people who don't understand scandium or whatever, the, the quick story is you add a very small amount of scandium to aluminum and you remarkably strengthen the aluminum. Uh, you, you change its flexibility properties, its corrosion resistance, weldability. The aerospace people love it. The problem has been they could never get it uh, unless you want to go to Russia. Now, you're at a place called Crater Lake in uh, Quebec. What is Crater Lake? Crater Lake is, uh, basically it's a big caldera collapse uh, that it allowed access to the scandium bearing melts. Uh, and it's brought it to surface. So it, it shows up as a beautiful onion ring structure. So when they say crater, it's not that there was a meteorite that hit the earth and it was a big crater. This was a caldera, a big volcano that collapsed and in, this is ancient times, billions of years ago, and, and, the, and the magma came up through these uh, faults and such along the side, and, and that emplaced this scandium-rich mineralogy, is that? That's correct, that's brought it close to the surface. And I think without, without that process, we wouldn't have, been, have seen it uh, come into service like we currently have. You don't find scandium very, you know, in that form very many, very many other places on Earth, do you? Certainly not in uh, in hard rock form, which is a hard rock deposit. You've got a lot of scandium byproduct in the laterites, which are basically weathered rock, and they, it's just they just uh, scoop it up and throw it into a plant. They're generally mostly uh, cobalt, nickel laterite uh, opportunities, but they happen to have a byproduct credit associated with them. Okay, now now what have you been doing at Crater Lake? I'm talking about the drilling program, and what have you what have you determined in terms of you know, preliminary discoveries, resource, on the road to resource, things like that? We've, uh, well, from, we've got a resource, about 20 million tons, mm -hmm. um, which at our notional production rate, that's sufficient for about 43 years of production. Uh, we've done our PEA, which we delivered uh, last uh, June, 
uh, based on the 25 year production model, uh, very robust financials associated with it, um, it because it happens to have uh, significant uh, rare earth credits associated with the mineralization. So uh, we've got a process, a uh, uh, patented process that we just submitted uh, to the US Patent Office as well as the Canadian Intellectual Property Office. Um, so it's protecting our, we think that that's very important. That's a critical path in these materials in that, uh, you know, you, you can have all the grade and tons that you want, but if you can't recover it out of the rock, out of the mineralization, then it's just rock. Right, so. right, right. Well, tell, tell us a bit about uh, Imperial Mining. What does the share structure look like and, uh, you know, market cap, things like that? Our market cap is about $20 million, which is not a lot given the, the value prop of, of what we presented in the PEA. We have about 185 million uh, shares of float. Um, it's been a pretty tough resource market, to be honest with you. And, and But we're very confident. We're working on some strategic alliances that I think will be very important announcements for our shareholders. Okay. And uh, where would people buy the share? Where, where would people buy the shares? Uh, we're, uh, we're both listed on the Toronto Exchange, Venture Exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a OTC a QB listing in the U.S. Very good. So that would be Imperial Mining. Uh, you can look them up. They have a website. They have a presentation. Uh, you can contact Peter if you are further interested. Uh, take a look at it. It's a very, very uh, interesting geologic play. Real strong, real strong geology there, and a really good resource uh, up in up in Quebec in good old Crater Lake. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Byron. Thank you very much.